got this tiny egg. It's not much bigger than like a robin's egg. It's a quarter. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna break it open, cook it up, and see what it looks like. I just wanna take a few minutes and explain to you guys what we're gonna be doing here in the channel for the next few videos probably. The weather's changing here. It's actually snowing out right now. We're gonna be doing some inside projects. When we built our house, we designed it to have a kitchen island right here. You can see we got some masking tape on the floor. We laid out our island and we're gonna be building it pretty soon. It's gonna be custom made. Um, we went to an antique shop the other weekend and we found these nice corbels. They'll be up here like this on the table. We're gonna have a uh, concrete countertop. We're gonna have bar stools on the back here. And then on the front side, we're gonna have, it's gonna be open up, it's gonna be all indoor storage. So we're gonna be bringing you along for the build as we build our custom kitchen island and everything that we do. We gotta mill the lumber up. We have leftover flooring. As you can see, our flooring here was all custom milled. They messed up a bunch when they made it. The tongue and groove for the boards to slide together wasn't milled right, so they wouldn't, they wouldn't get a nice tight fit. So they had to get us some more. They let us keep the extra. So we're gonna be using a bunch of the flooring to be making the outside of the island. So we gotta mill up those boards. We'll take you along for that process. We're gonna be doing some fancy kind of paint work on it. So it's gonna look like a old rustic barn board kinda. So we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the next few weekends working on our island. So while we're doing that build, that's what our videos are gonna be about. The purpose of the island is so we'll be able to have more counter space. And what that means for you guys is we'll be able to do a lot more cooking videos and take you along for that better camera angles and all that fun stuff so i hope you're looking forward to the kitchen island build i'm looking forward to making it and i can't wait till it's done we can do a lot more cooking from scratch and it'll be easier we'll be able to video it a lot better and show a lot more of the process to you guys so i think that's going to be awesome so these are the core bells that we got they were at an antique shop they were having a half off sale on how good you can see it but they're kind of neat they're all i want to say I don't think they're made out of pine. I don't know what kind of wood it is. They're nice and weathered. It's not light enough to be a white pine. I don't know if it's a hardwood. I don't think so. Maybe it's a hemlock or fir or something, but definitely not white pine. You can see all the detail on it. Kind of a nice looking piece. That'll be the main focal point, I think, of the island. We're only using two of them on the island. We actually got three. I'll take you, I'll spin you around. This area is kind of a mess. When we built the house, we kind of made like a little nook from our pantry. And we plan on this being a desk area so we can put the house computer. So when Olivia wants to use the computer, she can use it out here with all of us. She doesn't, she's not gonna be in our bedroom using the computer. Do a homework station. We can pay our bills and everything right here. We ended up getting three of the core bells. So this one we're actually gonna end up mounting over here. A nice, so we'll have the core bell mounted like this. We'll have a nice concrete top for the desk area, and then we'll finish building and customizing that area. The other day when I went out to collect the eggs from the chickens, I got this tiny little egg. They've been laying now for a few months, so it's not their starter eggs. I've had chickens now, we've, I don't know, we've been having chickens, we've had them probably for over five plus years, different houses we've lived in, and we've had sometimes we didn't have chickens and we've been having them again. So they've been laying now for probably two months. And I got this tiny egg. It's not much bigger than like a robin's egg. It has a quarter. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna break it open, cook it up, and see what it looks like. Push it in, turn it to light, and then turn it to low. Yep, now we gotta let it warm up for a minute. No, I actually don't wanna crack it. You don't wanna it's crack small. it? It's too small. I wonder if it's going to have a yolk or, let's see. No yolk. No yolk. How come it looks like it was going to have a yolk? Because yeah. it's got that bump. But it's still cooking. It is still cooking. It's just not going to have a yolk. You know what I mean though? It's got that little bump like it's, mm -hmm. like a yolk is going to go in there. But I'll still eat it. You'll still eat it? Mm -hmm. Ready? Oh. Here. Can you put it on my plate now? You think it's cooked? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Mine. Might be a little hot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Mine. Might be a little hot. So there it is guys, our cute little tiny robin egg that was a chicken egg but didn't have a yolk. I was hoping to have a little tiny yolk, but. I wish it's still good. I'm glad it's still good. It was kind of a neat little treasure we found out in the coop the other day. Mm -hmm. It's the first time that I've ever gotten a small little egg like that before. I don't know what you would call it. I don't know, I guess I don't know why it happened. If it was just an egg that came out too early because they have them growing inside them at all different stages. Some people call it a chicken fart. I don't know. So if you ever had it happen to you before, <laughs> leave it down in the comments below. I'm trying to think, we've had, this is our fourth set of chickens we've done. And we've never gotten a tiny egg like this before. Um, we've raised the Bard Rock breed. This is the third time we've done the, no. This is the second time we've had barred rocks? No. Second. The third. Second. Third. We had some third. at Guildhall. Yes, this is third. the third time we've had barred rocks. We've never had it happen before. We had a, the Americana breed, which are like the Easter egg layer chickens. They never had it happen, so I guess I'm, if you guys have ever had it happen to you before, and if it happens to you often, let it me know. We do get big eggs. I'll grab one of those for the heck of it. So we do get these big eggs, like the jumbo ones that'll have two yolks in them. We get those oh. quite a bit. Can you we've, make one? we've never gotten the small ones before. So if you have, let me know. Leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here next time at Lomna Acres. Yum, yum.